Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Um, today I will be doing. Well, today you guys are getting ready with me. I'm about to go on the road, so I'm gonna probably have some lunch with some of my friends. Um, so y'all gonna see, watch me do my makeup, and yeah. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do like a little quick beat. Get the face together real quick and look nice. Like guys. That's true. My face is coming together so nice. It's cleaning up. Um, I still have a little bit of discoloration like in the cheek areas. But I'm going to keep using my products. And you're going to see magic happening on this. Anyways, so today I decided to put on my wig because I was feeling like I wanted to be Sasha today. So Sasha is my wig girl. You know, when we feel like I want to be somebody else with like a long ear and you know, cute. So yeah, so I put it on. I have not tacked it down as yet. I usually just use the um, the got to be glue and just spray and just like tack just right here because I ain't doing the whole lace front stuff that's for another day anyhow so yeah so you guys are just gonna watch me do my makeup oh the hair is like a 22 inch i'll show you guys at the end um i really love this hair it's just drag on and you know look cute one time go on the road so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup um just putting on some vaseline on my lips to keep it going so I bought this Fenty Beauty foundation. It's supposed to be a medium coverage. And I tried it at the store, but I have not been wearing makeup for a long since I've been doing like facials and stuff. I kind of give my face a break off the makeup. So I got this last week and I wanted to try it. Like I did a little test on my cheek area and it was good coverage. So today I decided that I'm gonna, you know, just do a little light beat. Nothing too much, you know. I'm not with the fussy bead face stuff. Just something natural, cute to just go outside, get some food, and chill and relax with friends. So yeah, so I already primed my face already. Um, I was just using a basic primer, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and tap into this makeup and hurry up and do a little quick bead because I need to go. Pressing for time. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me so you can just see what I do. So let's see. Oh, shit. Let me see a little bit of the leaves. I don't tack. Listen, I didn't tack it down. But I'm not gonna put my hair behind my ears when I go out in public. Just to do my face. Um, so I can't see my face and so I can see what I'm doing. And stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and start. So. Let's do this. I don't um, do my eyebrows first. I don't know why. I just never did. I always do it like after I put the foundation on. Um, I know some other makeup artists are people that you know show how they do their makeup. They usually do the eyebrows first. But for some reason, I don't do mine like in the middle, semi last. So I'm trying to see. It's gonna be oxidized when I go outside or after it's on for a while. Um, let me see. You know, let me 
can't judge it. I mean, so far, so good. It's not looking bad. I like that it gives me a nice little coverage, so that's it's good. So I think this one, they said that it's supposed to be like, a, give you more of a dewy look, like um, more moist. It's supposed to be have some sort of hydration in there, so we will see. I don't really like matte finish with makeup. For me personally, um, it just makes me look like dead smutty knockoff myself. I would stay away from like looking too dry. I like to look like hydrated, moist, you know, elegant. Just refresh and hydrated, like that's the kind of look that I usually go for, like natural. I don't really do the eyeshadow and stuff, maybe because I'm not really good at it. But I probably should start trying to try practice because I've been watching videos on it where um, they usually like put a base and then you know put on the eyeshadow and then blend in and then you know do multi colors. So maybe that's something I should start trying. I'll probably think about recording something like that. But, so foremost, I love how it gives me a nice um, coverage and I did not use a lot guys, I did like maybe three pumps. But I like how the coverage is good, you want to make sure that um, I get under my lips area and stuff. So I already know I have like this two or three different skin tones, so I'm going to make sure that it is blended. Yo, I really love this. I, I think the camera is showing it different than in person. Like, as I'm looking at the mirror, like I set you guys up in the bathroom, and my little um, tripod is like in the sink area, and then I have the big camera behind you guys. But, looking at the mirror. Guys, it's kind of cute. I like this. I like this a lot. I think this is gonna be my new go-to. So yeah guys, so you see it gives me like you can't see like my the difference in my skin tone but back there won't show because the um the wig is gonna cover that so I'm not too worried about over there. But still I'm gonna try to get it as close as possible to my hairline because the wig kinda come down a little bit. So. To be honest, I don't even need to put on um, concealer because usually when I use the other, let me show you guys, huh? when I use the other, um, what, the foundation, the foundation, um, I use what, 410. So usually when I put on that foundation, I usually have to go in with concealer to like, you know, lighten up some of the areas, but this don't even, guys. This don't need it, like, look at the coverage. Oh my God. This is a good investment, I can't even lie. I've been wanted um, a foundation like this for a long time, something that I just can throw on only. And to be honest, guys, it feel light on my face. Like usually sometimes you put on a foundation and it give you like a heavy look. Like this feels really nice and airy, like no doubt. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm done with that. Um, let me see. I don't think. Yeah, I don't need any concealer with this, which is good. I love that. the camera now that I'm just this like it's a good coverage I love the coverage mm -hmm. alright so now on 
to the eyebrows, you know. I naturally have nice eyebrows, so I don't have to do too much. I don't really have to draw in anything. Just kind of take brush it in. Just kind of fill it in just a little. the light areas and I just fill those in. So basically that's that for my eye. See the difference? So I kind of you see here kind of have like a little um not ball spots but you can tell the difference that one looks fuller than the other. So I just kind of pull it off just a little and that's I know some people have to um, build it like that. So I was watching TikTok and I saw um, they kind of like draw it here and then bring it here and then make like a triangle or some stuff like that. I thought that was very creative, but that is not my dilemma. So I don't have to really do much. The camera is making it look like extra dewy, but guys, it don't look like that in, um, in person. I think the lighting is just bringing up everything. Quick, simple. So I'm gonna go in with the concealer. Three ninety. I use in Fenty.
Why, why this, oh, why that always up? Of the day, 